Time now for Consumer Confidential with KTLA 5's David Lazarus. Laz is here with us in studio, and we know a lot of people are struggling, and now a majority of Americans say they are living paycheck to paycheck. Yeah, not just a majority. Sorry. We're talking about roughly two-thirds of households. Consumers say that they are living paycheck to paycheck. This according to a new survey by San Francisco's Lending Club, which finds 61% of us are indeed just living paycheck to paycheck, which basically means just getting by. Right. But the real eye-popping stat out of this report, almost a third, uh, or rather even more than a third, 36% of people making $250,000 or more, that's a quarter of a million dollars or more, say they too are living paycheck to paycheck. Now, obviously, their paycheck to paycheck is different from other people's. In many cases, they're, they just have huge expenses, and, mm -hmm. and you know that's what they're dealing with there at a whole other level. But still, the fact that people who, would, who qualify as rich are also living paycheck to paycheck, this is an ominous sign as we face the prospect of a possible recession around the corner. Because the more families living paycheck to paycheck, the greater the likelihood that these are the folks who will be suffering the most if we have a severe economic downturn. And if that's even impacting people at the northern end of the economic stratum, that's a real big deal. And it's not clear if we're prepared for that. This comes as the Federal Reserve is working diligently to try to reduce inflation by raising interest rates, but that will cool the economy. And the real wild card now, do we cool the economy so much that it pushes us into a nasty recession? And if that's the case, it seems clear from this latest survey, it's not just the working class that's going to suffer, it's many others. All right, uh, so we just told Tesla workers they're going to come back to the office, mm -hmm. but uh, now Elon Musk wants to cut uh, the workforce at Tesla by 10%. Elon Musk, always finding clever new ways to get into the news, and here he is back again. As Glenn just noted, the other day he was in the news because he was talking about, you better come back to the office or I'm going to give you the sack. Now, according to an email reportedly sent by Musk to Tesla executive, executives that Reuters got its hands on, Musk is saying that he has, quote, a super bad feeling about the economy, and as a result of that, he's going to curtail hiring this year and is looking to perhaps give the, the heave-ho to as much as 10% of his workforce. How many is that? Well, as of the end of last year, according to regulatory filings, Tesla had about 100,000 employees. So we're talking about 10,000 workers that are possibly being faced by being sent packing. That's a very, very big deal. I mean, you know, there's a few things happening here. First of all, Musk and his complete lack of people skills. Second of all, this is not a great way to manage a company by doing things like this. And as a result of that, not surprisingly, Tesla stock down by nearly 9% at last check as investors try to weigh the fact that, first of all, this major company might have big layoffs on the horizon, and second of all, who's running the store over there and why is he saying these things? Yeah, it makes all of us nervous when he Thank says you. something like that. All right, talk about buying a home. It's so stressful. I know that a lot of people have said that they actually cry during the process. Not getting the house you want. That's that's a big deal. Yeah, but it's not just the disappointment, Sandy. We're also talking about people who are just frustrated by the process. And a new survey from Zillow, the home buying site, finds that half of home buyers and potential home buyers are reduced to tears by the process. Whether they got the home, whether they didn't get the home, just simply jumping through all the hoops that are oh. necessary now is so devastating to people emotionally that they end up a puddle of tears. And it's remarkable. The survey also finds that uh, people are, are just frustrated by the fact that bidding wars will break out constantly with homes because there's just too few properties available and those that are available become highly competitive as a result and this situation is exacerbated by the fact that you've got a number of buyers now who are prepared to make all cash offers or to waive contingencies so if you're not one of those people if you're going into it just trying to buy a good home at a good price under fair terms you're not competitive anymore. So no wonder you're being reduced to tears. And that's something that uh, I would say is the, the key red flag. Once you start crying during this process, call it off. It's not worth it. Yeah. All that stress, it's supposed to be a happy experience. One would hope, but right? it wasn't in it's my case. It's tough.